you're tired or you ever want a job, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to pick the perfect watermelon for myself. Sweet and crisp, like I like it. But this story isn't about my watermelon and the absurd amount of space it took up in my fridge. It's about the men who sold it to me. And the civil rights leader who created their legacy in watermelons. When you get a Carter melon, you got a good melon. People are gonna come looking for a Carter melon. We've been selling watermelons uh, about 70 years, 70, 71 years. Can somebody give me a sweet, small watermelon? That's watermelon. I will send other people. I came all the way from Maryland to get this juicy watermelon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That's what quality does for you. And they don't mind going uh, extra mile for it. What different types of watermelon? All types, so yellow meat, so orange meat, seeds, no seeds, sangrias, jubilees, congos, cannonballs, sugar babies, black diamonds. Elijah's the one to go out and purchase some watermelons. Because they're not growers, the Carters spend a substantial amount of time looking for top tier melons to bring back to home base. We try to get started at least around 10 o'clock. We generally work till 6.30, 7 o'clock. I try to mash the sugar in. The sun melts the sugar and brings out a natural color. We're here every day, Monday through Sunday, rain or shine. Best watermelons in the area. Take care, guys. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. If they don't see us here, that's that's only because we sold out. More often than not, we, you know, we sell out. We just sold all of them out today. I'll be back. All right, all right, all right. I'll get it again. All right, all right. Besides the wide selection of melons you normally don't see in a grocery store, you might ask, what keeps a 71-year-old melon stand going? What's kept the actress coming back once a week for the past four years? Or John for 50? Or why Laverne requires a Carter melon for her fruit salad? We just don't sell watermelons. We specialize in watermelons. Tapping, thumping, vibe checking. It may be called something completely different depending on which family member you ask, but the result is the same. The sound of a perfect watermelon. The internet swears by many methods, usually those of visual cues, but the tapping assures what stage a melon is in its life. It's kept the Carters in business, and from all observations, business seems busy. To me, it's like when you first meet a person, you feel a vibe. Same thing with the melon. You check it out, you're feeling the vibe. You check it out, you're patenting for the vibration. And that will tell you the lifespan of a watermelon, whether or not it can, has to be taken right away, eaten right away, or whether or not it has some longevity to it. Just like a banana, the riper the watermelon is, or the riper the banana is, the sweeter it is. That watermelon there can be ate right away, or you can keep it for a few days, Okay. right? Because see how hollow the sound is? Yeah. Good one? Yeah, uh-huh. My man, All thank right. you guys. All right, stay strong, my brother. All right, brother. Each customer got different wants when they want to buy a watermelon. Take what they want and, you know, give them what they want. Some people have an ability to make things look easy, but there's nothing easy about this. No matter how long it takes, each customer, each melon, gets the special treatment. The Carter brothers sell watermelons as if their lives depended on it. And in the beginning, that was their reality. My father was the president of the NAACP in Montgomery County. And on September 8, 1948, there was an incident that happened between the Klansman and my dad. There are not many pictures of Dover Carter, the civil rights leader and president of the NAACP in Montgomery County, Georgia. In 1948, he was helping black people vote during an election, driving them to and from the polls. When he was told not to, he refused. He was then beaten by members of the KKK, an almost fatal encounter. And at that time, there was 10 of us, and they threatened to kill all of us. So my father migrated to Philadelphia. 
it was just virtually impossible like it is now to take care of 10 people. Not only was Dover Carter a civil rights leader, but a watermelon farmer for 40 years. Now, with no farm, the grower became the seller. He just did what he, what he knew best, and that was dealing with watermelons. Dover Carter not only built a successful watermelon business, but a new life for his family. I remember as a child, I can eat a whole watermelon by myself. As much as I loved the watermelon, I couldn't eat one because it was for sale. My father taught me discipline. I thought he was a hard man, which he was. He was very firm, but it has its dividends. I'm guessing that looks like you. Yeah. As they got older, Dover's children went on to have careers and lives of their own until they decided to come back. We all feel the need to come back here to the watermelons, which, which we started from. And we have been carrying the one as legacy ever since and start sharing our knowledge. We don't have to go riding around in, in the trucks or even howling out, hey, got your watermelons. No, we don't have to do that. And that's saying something. And I think that we've been laboring long enough that we can, we can afford to pat ourselves on the back. After 71 years, Dover Carter's knowledge and business have been passed down from his kids to his grandkids to his great-grandkids. To me, that's how it has survived for these last uh, three generations. And we don't expect them to know everything because it took years for us to, to acquire the knowledge that we have. You just don't get it overnight. My oldest grand, I say he's well equipped and he knows about the business. I appreciate it, bro. No problem, no problem. At first, you know, I kind of hated it. I was born in this family business. You kind of got to do it. But then, you know, as you get older, as you start doing it, you kind of understand the purpose behind it. So you feel like the one that you eat, eat right away or? Yeah. The hollow song is right there. Is this sample? Yeah, appreciate you, sir. Okay, thanks. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Right, the knowledge that they attain here is transferable into whatever field they go into. The hook that the, the watermelon stand goes on. If they're able to better themselves, uh, you know, then you can't ask them. But it's, it's here for whoever, you know, wants it. The watermelon stand's been the backbone of the family. So my family dedicated, you know, decades, decades of, you know, time, dedication, blood, sweat, tears, all that. Right now I'm in school to get my master's in counseling. I currently have a behavior therapist job working with children with autism. And my intention is to always keep the business no matter you know what happens. I want to keep it forever.